Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm asking the question, could a change of shaft make me a better putter? If it's at all possible, it'd be great not to be changing things in your golf swing or in your putting movement to make you better at the game. And that's basically the job of the industry to actually come up with new ideas to actually make you a better player. And Odyssey have been thinking about not only the design of the putter head, but also the design of the shaft. And obviously that's the link between your hands and the putter head. So it's obviously of vast importance. And for generations, we've had exactly the same link, a piece of steel between our hands and the putter head. And now Odyssey is saying by changing that up and putting graphite at the top of the shaft and steel at the bottom of the shaft, changing the way they weight the putter by moving that weight somewhere else, a portion of it at the top of the grip, a portion of it into the club head, you're going to get a more consistent stroke. Now, this is obviously something you can talk about and say, okay, technically that's got to make sense, uh, but does it actually make sense in the practice? And that's what I want to put to the test today. And I'm gonna do it in a very simple test simply from dis different distances, sh looking at how many balls do I hold, comparing one putter against the other and see which one is simply better. So obviously that's going to be difficult to beat for the stroke lab shaft, but I wasn't really expecting to be doing anything else. I've been putting with this putter for enough years now that I know I'm going to hold a simple three foot putt more times and I'm going to miss it. What I'm interested to see is whether the feeling with the stroke lab putter is different to the feeling I have with the steel shafted putter. It's definitely lighter, at least that's what I'm saying. So obviously I know that the, the shaft has got to be lighter because there's a certain amount of graphite in it, which is replacing the steel. But the entire swing of the club is lighter. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing um, is open to interpretation. I have the feeling there's not as much inertia. I'm not having to do as much to actually accelerate the golf club. But I like to have the feeling of the kind of club swinging of its own accordance through the ball, not needing too much help from me. So I've always been quite partial to quite a heavy putter because I have the feeling that the putter is doing the job. But as you can see, the results are on a par with the steel shaft. All square. I've now moved away from the hole. I'm now about 20 feet away from the hole. And when I get to this kind of distance, I'm not really looking to hold the putt. Of course, I'm trying to hold the putt, but I don't expect to hold the putt every time. On the contrary, what I am looking for is to get the ball into an area around the, the hole where I'm making the two putt a certainty. I've got a similar kind of routine. I'm still going to align the ball. I'm going more into a kind of visualization of the rollway and especially a visualization of how the ball is basically kind of rolling up to the height of the hole and then almost with its last breath dropping into the hole.
the stroke lav has something to beat. I've hold two of the six putts and the rest were all within three feet of the hole. The putter again feels a little lighter than my putter, but it does swing well. As I say, I do like that kind of feeling of letting the putter do the work and I'm not feeling as if I'm having to do any more with the putter, with the stroke lab shaft, than I'm doing with the one with the steel shaft. Might have been a little unfortunate there, but I don't think it was going in. Well, slight advantage for steel, maybe, but still great grouping, certainly not worse than what I had before. So now I'm 63 feet away. This is where it starts to get tasty because this is where it really gets really difficult to get down in two. So it's all about getting the ball down there to around about three feet, knowing you've got that simple little knock in for your par. Keep the routine going. Try and get a feel for that distance, visualization of how the ball's gonna roll and then just roll it up there. Ah, about six foot short. Really feel I'm having to work to get the ball up there. I'm getting a bit better feel for it. Still quite hard work though. And the same again. Really struggling to get it even up to the hole. The greens aren't the fastest here. Has he done it? He has, but at the cost of direction. Usually if you start banging at it, you're often going to lose the direction on it. So, looking at those kind of results, I would need some practice. So my logic would say, putter's lighter, it'd be easier to accelerate. Obviously, I've got a bit of experience with the other putter. That's a good deal lighter to swing, but I'm still, sh I'm actually not too sure. And for a first putt, and it didn't really feel like I hit it particularly well, that's pretty good. A lot easier to move and I've pulled that a little bit but that's the first one I've actually got past the hole and I'm really not trying to do anything different I've got the same imagined roll same imagined speed this is far easier far easier yeah almost hold it again didn't really strike that very well, but it still kind of got up there. No competition. This is a lot easier. Oh, I hit that terrible. <laughs> but I think I was thinking about it, talking to you about it, rather than concentrating about the putt. This is better. Uh, the first two distances, I didn't really see much of a difference, but with the long distance, there's a definite difference. It's easier to actually get the club head speed you need to move the ball over longer distances. And at the same time, judge the pace. The last putt was really was me. That was user error. Um, the others were the putter was working easier for me. Didn't have as much struggle getting the ball to the hole. So if you are struggling with long putts, I don't see a great deal of difference with the shorter distances, 
but with long putts, getting that two putt, getting that speed judgment, that distance judgment correct, then it might well be worth you trying out the Odyssey Stroke Lab shaft. And I will be changing if I can convince Odyssey to let me have one at a good price. Hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Don't forget, if you'd like to become a patron, I shall leave a link below and a big, big thank you to all the patrons to the channel who helped me to get back here a bit more often. See you next time.